G'day guys, this is a video that I wish I did not have to make, but I'm going to have to, um, to address some one-sided toxic comments and what could I say in my opinion, uh, it's, it's like a hatchet job, um, it's out of control and basically i have no right of reply to what has been stated even though it's made out that i have but i haven't because i can't get in and i'm just basically stonewalled uh yeah it's it's, it's a lot of people contacting me at the moment telling me what's going on and I'll tell you the story. This is this is uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, just da, 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 yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, that's all right. This is another one of my customers. Now, guys, um, if you've ever had a detector done by me, I'm told that my upgrades, modifications on detectors do not work. Blatantly, do not work. They're not proven. Sorry, I've been doing it for 25 years. Um, I've been also told I do not test the detectors. Yes, I do. They come here, they get done, they go to David. David goes and swings them round in the open uh, forest area near his house, and then they go out. But we're going to tell you the big saga of what actually has recently happened we had a gp i think it was a gp extreme or was it a 4500 i can't remember now what it was but uh you gotta understand i see so many detectors but uh whatever the unit was i think it was a uh, might have been a 4500 sorry for this one yes 4500 and now, we do have issues with modifications. We have had issues where something um, has gone, I don't know, sideways, and it just is not quite right. Uh, usually it's to do with the older detectors that there may be some components like uh, the electrolytic capacitors start drying out and they're not uh, putting out a nice clean waveform and it's got ripple and there's all sorts of things that can happen. And some of, the, some of these things may happen a week, a month, two months down the track. But we put a five-year warranty on what we do. So if these things happen in your detector, all you got to do is contact us and we fix it. We keep the customer happy. That is our main objective. Keep the customer happy. You do not want to make modifications to detectors that do not work. Uh, it is completely ridiculous. So what's happened lately is you've had a couple of upstarts that think that they can do what I do, okay? They think they can copy or similar, uh, in my opinion, and try and do what we do. And uh, th this is what's actually happened. There is a group on Facebook, I'm not even going to make mention of the name of it, but it's the one I was in. We David joined it under detector mods and was straight away banned, straight away because it said detector mods. Okay, um, I joined under my own name, and I've had nothing but hell. I put up a lot of pictures of gold finds from myself, from my customers over the years. They all got deleted, completely deleted. And I have the communications on my computer, um, which someone was trying to delete comments, what they'd sent to me. And basically, I've got screenshots of it all, and I can read it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some of it, because uh, your mind will be blown. First of all, um, we'll go, well, look, how about I do this um, detector saga of the 45? Uh, a fellow said it wasn't working properly. He sent it to a mine lab authorized dealer. This is exact words, okay? I know who it is, but I'm not going to mention it just because it will cause trouble, but can be proved. 
it had failed. Okay, power MOSFET in the detector had failed. It was sent to us. Uh, we had to check it. We had to check the uh, battery, the coil, and the detector. Uh, so David checked everything else on on another detector, and I got and it was all proven okay. The battery and the coil and so forth. Uh, this is all done for no charge, by the way. I got the uh, detector. I repaired the fault. The damping power MOSFET had avalanched and gone short circuit. Okay, so that was a 200 volt rated IRF 9630 that died. I put in a higher rated power MOSFET that um, is rated uh, 40 or 50 volts higher. And rather than, you know, a couple of amps, three amps, whatever it is, it's probably rated at about five to eight amps or something, the one I put in there. It's a much better device, um, a lot more headroom uh, for any leakage of spikes or anything. Anyway, what happened? After we fixed it, we were told, no, I want the upgrades. So we want, we want the detector modified. So I said, yeah, fine. So I modified it, okay? I put in um, the new uh, front end. Uh, there wasn't variable gain or anything like that. It was just the new front end uh, and variable frequency. Now, you know, you've seen my videos. When we do a 4500, it is absolutely brilliant. It is so sensitive. It works. It ground balances on anything. Have a look at my older videos because that's when, you know, we we're going out and testing those upgrades. They're fine. They work perfect. And, uh, you know, they don't go to customers if they don't work. Now, this is the failure mechanism of what's happened. A mine lab accredited um, center has had a go at fixing this detector and it failed. I don't know what time period after, but when I got it here, I said, okay, that's failed. I replaced the MOSFET, right? Very, very simple to do. Went right over the detector, checked it out. It was doing everything properly. It was working. Obviously, it was working after I fixed it. Otherwise, I would not have modified it. Now, what actually, I've got to explain this in great detail because what actually happens and what happened is that uh, we were told to rush this job back to the customer, which we did. And the customer has then, which I've just been told, ran up to this group that are all on this particular Facebook group, right? And the detector didn't work. It had failed, right? And this is the next thing. I'm getting crucified because, because this, this group um, has a vested interest in people in that group charging people to, or I don't know exactly how it works, this is my opinion. They're making money off it somehow. Someone else is doing some modifications and then someone is either getting in my opinion, either some money paid to them or they're charging the customer. This is, I don't know this part because I have not utilized the service. So what happened is that, and I've got a lot of this in writing so I can back it up. What actually happened is that uh, they ran up there, it failed and obviously I got crucified and I had uh, um, a comment on Google, um that um on the uh you know detector mods google um you know where you can leave comments and things and it said useless modifications end of story useless modifications and then someone with a new account called i know or something uh, popped up and uh said said something or rather as something or rather to my comment on that anyway um I contacted Google, Google uh, removed the new account, but left the other one, useless modification, standing there. So guys, anyone I've done a detector for, if you're happy with it, can you go on Google and leave me a review, an honest review? Not just say useless modifications. Well, if you think they're useless, say they're useless. But uh, a broad statement like useless modifications on, on a basis of what I suspect is one detector that failed because it's got a repeating fault in the detector. It's an intermittent fault. And what um, they, they've obviously checked it 
right, when they're up there with this group because the fellows told me it's got no first pulse, right? And that is absolutely the MOSFETs failed again because it collapses a transmit output. So it will have a stepped waveform. And obviously it's done the same again, but I'm getting crucified because the detector has decided to blow up a higher rated MOSFET on turn on. That's when it'll fail. When the detector first turns on, everything's discharged. It, it, something's getting passed somewhere and it went bang. But here it worked perfectly, right? So I'm giving it to you from my point of view what's happened. So this detector's failed. And then they said, they um, were saying it's noisy, it's horrible and telling all their friends. We've had a customer today who's going to drop a detector in for modification has come across this group and cancelled getting their detector done because of the uh, toxic commentary going down on this group at the moment. One job out of thousands and they're beating it up. But there's, a, there's vested interests in this group, in my opinion, that are going to do anything. But I'm going to read you something. The correspondence to one of the people from that uh, group um, who has a lot of sway in that group. And it started off, this is what I think, um, it started off friendly and then it went pear-shaped. But uh, I might re read it to you. I've got, some, I've got a lot of comments coming through from people I've done stuff on at the moment, but I'll get on to where it is, and uh, yeah, more, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it, uh, something here, where, where is it, where is it, there's, there's a lot of it over a fair bit of time, okay, and uh, anyway, we, we got in one of these detectors, from someone who wasn't happy with it <laughs> from their group, believe it or not. And uh, I fixed that up. But anyway, this is, I don't want to go into the, uh, you know, they did this, he did that. But anyway, um, I I did. But uh, I'm not going to go and say too much about that because it's going to cause a war. Right, okay. Let's, let's have a look here. Okay. Hi there, Peter. I left the photos you added on for the day, but I have removed them. And I'll I'll let you add in there in there advertising your mods after after I have seen proof as I am in constant contact with the other person who, who I'm not saying and he has one of your five thousands he's fixing and has fully informed me of the difference between his mods and yours that's I will, all I will say and there is not much comparison showing gold found many years ago, and we all know uh, there was so much more gold around then, really. Um, uh, what else does it say? I wish you contribute to the group. I will be available for you to meet up, right? Um, I asked months ago to test your unit, da-da-da-da-da, and the other one, and uh, let me know your thoughts. So anyway, I've, I've gone... Um, you need to, and then he comes in and says, the only way forward is you need to advertise elsewhere. Advertise, right? Um, and, I, and I wrote, I never advertised. It was only pictures of gold. Um, no, but others are pushing. Others are pushing. I want all division to end, but so-and-so's gear stands alone at the moment, right? Um, the only way to do this testing, not in an office, in the ground. Of course we go out and do it on the ground. I don't video everything we do. My God. No worries, um, I said. So this, this, will, this will make a fantastic video on my YouTube channel. Um, what He says, I, I do not make money from the other person. He said this, right? Um, and I said I was getting one of the detectors that the other guy had done, right? And uh, here. You do that for yourself. That's funny, as the other person has one of yours right now. This is never going to end if we do not do a proper comparison. Great. I'd love to do a proper comparison, but I'm not going to travel all the way up to Bendigo and lose so much time. I'm losing time now. I'm absolutely snowed under with jobs. And, yeah, it's getting a bit uh, full on. 
Right. The other fellow, now this is this is interesting, right? The other fellow has a six month waiting list. Right? Six month. Six month. Fantastic. Waiting list. Um, anyway, I said good for him. Um, yep. Anyway. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Now I've got to I've got to find this bit. This is this is a crux of the matter here. Um, yep. Yeah, and I said I had the other guy's detector, which he's done. It'll be done by a trusted, well-known detector user. I was going to get a third party to do it. All right. And he came back. Oh, the mods are not easy to run. Is my issue unfair test? So he's saying that an experienced pros prospector using that other detector is an unfair test. With me there, it's just like the other person and you. I don't even know what that means. Um, I do all training for the other person. So this guy has an interest. I do all training, detector training, which means taking people out. And this is, I suspect, in my opinion, is a financial aspect of it, right? Of course, if you're run, running everything, I'm there unbiased. Um, whatever. Now, I, I said I have even better stuff coming out. Um, the call is yours, but uh, yeah, where is it going? Yeah, I just said to him, look, I can't do that. I have way too much work at the moment. I'm not going to keep asking. I'm offering my time. My time is important as yours. Yeah, right. Um, This just tells me your mods are not ready and why I must stay vigilant. My mods aren't ready. Sorry, all the thousands of people out there who've got modified detectors from us over the last probably 25, 30 years that our mods aren't ready. Okay. Uh, but uh, he basically in here, somewhere I've got to find it. Uh, I already know the other person has yours on the scope. I was just talking to him this afternoon. So um, do all the bias testing you need. As I said, in my group, I need theirs. It's very easy to dodge up test, dodge up test. Um, yeah. Yeah, you already know his works, all of it. Um, now, there's, there's something here that was really standout. I'm just trying to find it since it's a hell of a lot to read. Um, yep, wow, he says to me, wow, anyone can sell a dream. Um, call is yours. I will keep the group decided like it is, divided. It's going to keep the group decided like it is, divided. Now, listen to this. You do not have much support in the real world. Do you like that? I do not have much support in the real world. Not in my group group where people using these detectors are. Um, but you only pump the other person's mods. This is what I said to him. Because they work and he's trusted. So he's trusted. Good. Um, so yeah, look, there's, there's vested interests here and I can't get in. I... I, it got me, it got so toxic that a lot of people I know quit that group. They actually, I've got, I'm not going to go and out them, but I, they quit the group. They sent me messages on Messenger. And uh, but now he, listen to this. This is ridiculous, right? Hello, Peter. Woody, Peter, that's me, same thing. I can only say sorry for what happened in the group, but our um, conversation infuriated me and how it went. Um, hang on, it's going, to, it's going to get really better. It's worthwhile hanging around for all this stuff, right? Um, there's a whole heap of, I think it's a whole heap of stuff. I'm going, to go for, I'm going to read you the best parts, right? Which I think are the best part. Um, and I know you are very good at modding the older machines like this and still finding your... Still finding your way with the newer GPX platform. What? I've been doing it for years. Um, you're right. 
And I said, hi, whatever your name is, I'm taking a break from Facebook for a week as I have to get all the work done and it's been building up and still building up and I'm wasting my time doing this probably. But anyway, um, this is not personal, he says. The group needs all the information and sometimes harsh stuff, but it never says anything about anything. Uh, you can't say anything about the other people involved because it just gets deleted straight away. But uh, now I'm going to get onto the real good parts here somewhere. Um, anyway, it, cha it changes tune here somewhere. Um, yeah, right. This is what he says. Um, he, he calls this guy the sound man. This is the detector that had this fault that failed. And so whatever has happened, what does it say? Uh, I tried to use he, he, this is the guy messaging me, got hold of this customer's detector. They ran up to Bendigo Odd with it somewhere up there. And uh, I tried to use, and I was disappointed, it's operation, do you test these before sending them out? Yes, I do test them before sending them out. It wouldn't even run on the ground. It had no sensitivity. and wouldn't settle with threshold. And a standard 4500 was more stable and sensitive. Yes, because this detector has a fault. It failed again. It avalanched the MOSFET. I bet you it did, right? I think you need to show me your mods working on the ground before you can post them. Look at my YouTube videos, please. I think you need to show me your mod here, okay, on the ground before you can post them. Um, untested, or people get the wrong idea. My friend, my friend, my friend indeed. Um, nothing has changed, da 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 da, -da. Um, And I said, who is who's this person you're referring to? He's a 17-year-old boy. You did his 45 very uh, recently. It's unusable. Of course it's unusable, it failed. <laughs> and I wrote that detector of a fault, so I'm fixing it. They're gonna send it to me to fix. Unless they've been manipulated and talked out of sending it to me to fix, and they're gonna go and give it to someone else to fix and re remove everything and requ request refunds and all the rest of it, whatever. But I've spoke to the guy's father and I have um, the call log and it's coming back here we have um, basically said that um, we. <laughs> I'm going to put it back to how it was, and I'm going to fix it, and I'm going to fix it and dive deep into the detector why it is blowing up the MOSFET. So it's going to take me a lot of time to repair that, but because it's a 17-year-old kid, I'm going to look after them. That is what I do. So he. The father said, look, you know, the upgrades are not for um, us or him or, or the kid. Um, and that is what is uh, going to happen. Right. And then this fellow here is still saying to me, you, you can not only test in your office. I do the initial tests in, in here and then they get tested out in the ground. Okay. And this is what they think. They think that I've gone and sent this detector out. Um, it obviously I'm not going to ground ballots. It's going to have weak sensitivity, and all the rest of it. I spent all Saturday with him. His father, his father's father's got a standard unit, runs better from the first turn on. Um, with mods. Okay. How good is your testing before handing them over? So he's making a real issue of this. And I tried to explain to him that, okay, that detector has a history of failure. Um, did he mention taking it to a uh, uh, place, mine lab dealer, um, as it failed? And they repaired it, and then it failed again, right? And then he brought it to me to fix. The fault has occurred again, right? I spoke with his dad, blah, blah, about it. again. Is, now, this is, this is the badgering part, right? Again, how did it pass testing? The f it turn on fault. Bang, avalanche the MOSFET. It's dead, okay? I didn't turn it on multiple, multiple times to make it actually keep doing it until it failed. He had the detector. Obviously, it's probably discharged all the capacitors and just ramped up and gone whack. 
some mechanism has taken it out. We've got more messages from customers. Okay. Um, it only concerns me when you will never meet for any testing. Meet for any testing. Yeah, I said I tested it. It has obviously got another fault in the detector. Um, but yeah, look, I'm going to cover it. No charge. I'll cover it all. And uh, yeah, just so shut these people up that I'm not doing anything ripping people off or anything. Um, he, here he goes. He admits it. They've gone and looked at it and tested it at someone who has equipment like an oscilloscope. Right. It has no first sample. Bang. There you go. That fault has turned up. The mine lab dealer couldn't fix it or didn't. Thought he'd fixed it. I thought I'd fixed it. Obviously, there's something else happening, which is of an intermittent nature. It's very hard to fix. So, you know, we are not God. We are not God. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to digress in a minute to something really funny. Right, and he goes on. These are very simple things that show a big issue. Yes, cause the MOSFETs failed. Yes, I hear it struggle with the first sampling. It has none. Ah, oh. I'm not having a go at you. I'm just asking how it can be sent out without this showing. What are you talking about? It went out the door working. It went out working. You, hmm. And I said, you are not listening. It had a fault. I repaired it. And it has failed again. Right? Uh, I've also seen on the scope what causes these issues. Really blowing up a, a 240 volt 8 amp MOSFET. Great. Um, I hear you. But again, um, how has it faulted so quickly? <laughs> it could never have been tested. Yes, it was tested. Now, this is what is being pushed. I've been told by people on that group, this is what's being pushed on that group to make me look like a complete, utter idiot, right? And I wrote, it obviously failed at turn on. And then it, and, uh, yeah. and then it goes on and on and on. Um, then, he fro then he throws me at, you know, how, I, I know. He shows me a handful of very small gold, right? So you know, I have to do this. <laughs> so I showed him a picture of some very small gold, right? Like they don't understand. What's wrong with these people? Right, so yeah, have a look at his gold. There you go. There's his small gold, right? There he goes. That's meant to prove something. So for tit for tat, um, I get these well over a hundred millimeters in the harshest of clays, Peter. Really? Well, you don't know where I got mine from and what they are in. But anyway, <laughs> um, show videos of the digs, Peter. That's the look at my videos. Jesus, he's a good guy. Uh, it's this is frustrating. You're dealing with someone who just will not take anything you say. Um, as, as any fact whatsoever, it's his way or no way. Uh, oh, God, this is the best. You, finding stuff at depth. Look at my videos. Look at my <laughs> videos, please. Look at my videos. It's about 350 of them. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. Right, and then um, I said, what's he say? Don't. Um, I said, don't worry, I'm not joining back in your group because I'm actually blocked from actually doing it. I've talked to the other administrators and they said that, that somehow I can't get in. They can't allow me in. So I'm not even saying, they've probably got a few administrators, I hope, but anyway. Um, and I said, I'm not going back. He goes, I'm only protecting. So he's protecting his minions. And I say, no, you are not. You are crucifying, right? And he goes, no, I'm not, Peter. You do this to yourself. It's called mirroring. Okay. So over one detector that failed, which it's been into um, another shop as well, for the same problem, 
then it's been upgraded, failed. So all the mods are, mods are screwed now. All the mods are really bad because something else happened in the detector. This is illogical. It's stupid think. And it's not taking into account what has happened. So this is what they've done in that group. They've caused a person who was going to bring us a detector to modify using that as um, weaponization, in my opinion, to redirect the work elsewhere. So th this is this is a game plan. That's my opinion on it, okay? So after that, oh, I just had to do it. I had to block him because it's ridiculous. But hang on a sec. I've got to, I've got to get you... I've got to tell you, I'll tell you a little bit about the history. I haven't said this person's name. Okay. Righto, where are we? I've got, I'll, look, this gives you an idea. There's audio as well. There's plenty of audio which I've copped from this fellow. Righto. Follow your heart and keep my faith. This is the same person. I'm always close like I always have been. You are found and that you have found me again. So rejoice, my child. I think I'm older than you, person. Um, and feel my warmth grow inside as your darkness leaves from within. Never keep it to yourself about keeping what I shared between you and I and keeping it real. But telling no one who my body is, you share what you shared through you now. Right, there's there's um, hang on a sec, I'm not going to do the audio, you'll freak out. Hang on, I, it's, it is unbelievable. Some of the stuff this is this is the person who's who's got a vendetta against me, basically. I, I in my opinion, um, or it's some financial link up between the other two, or whatever in that group, and it, that's why it's closed. Pulling people in and, uh, right, hang on, I've got to find the best part. This is what he says to me, no joke. You are a good man and you are on the right path. This is him speaking, writing. I am Jesus Christ. Returned, my child. Keep this quiet. Sorry, keep it quiet. You are Jesus Christ. I am Jesus Christ returned, my child. Keep this quiet. You have been cleansed. Do right for mankind. Your God will always love and protect you. All right? I just wrote, God bless you, the person's name. All right? I didn't know what else to say. Uh, it's all your choice in yourself to keep out of the darkness, Peter. And I love you, my child. And I always have. That is why I've kept you close. <laughs> right, okay. You were very lost, but now you have been found, my child, and you rise again. You will be bigger than all with my help. Right, so he's offering his help, but then he goes out in a tangent and just rips into me like like a bloody tiger that hasn't eaten for a month. Um, have faith in me as I walk here again to help all mankind. Sorry, you are to give faith back to men doing things other men can't. So let go, let uh, let go, and let me work through you, and you will champion for man, riding above all men, showing the glory from having faith faith in your Lord. Um, sorry, and he writes rising, not riding. You have a good heart, but your mind was very dark, but it's fixed. And reset, my child. Rise, rise. I'm going to say it like he probably means it. Rise, rise above the darkness in other men. 
with the light installed back into your mind to allow other men to rise from the light you are now give with e which you now give with ease. You have faith again, my child, and I have faith in you, my child. As long as this war, right? As long as, as this is the way, you'll be the richest man alive. I <laughs> wish. <laughs> you already feel the power. Just leave ego behind and let oh God let's let's darkness into everything and everyone. A big lesson, but all to make us better for us. To, look, this is what I'm dealing with, right? This this is um, you can you can you can work work this out for yourself, right? As it look, and I'm I'm going to do on a bit of an angle, but I'm going to show you. It goes on and on and on. Sorry, I just on and on and on and I, I look I'll just pull up some passages out of all this stuff that's been sent to me, right? Um oh, he tried showing his glorious love and acceptance, but you had other stuff blinding you, but now he is in your heart again. Your balance is corrected and staying true to yourself yeah, all right. Anyway, it's up and down like a yo yo. It's all this sort of stuff and then then he starts asking me about my developments on detectors. Right? Um, now, it's all about growing your own audience again, Peter, and now your business will ro roll through your door. Really? My bis but when you look at the stuff later on, it's crucified me and says, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, look, I'm over it. I'm over the over it. That why? That's why I had to make this video because this stuff is getting the the toxic components of it are getting hammered and hammered and hammered in a very small group. Um, and it's uh, I'm really lost. So look, guys, all, all I say is some validation here. If you've had a detector done by me, please, please just make a comment. And, you know, because I've, I've got this bad comment on the Google, which brought it down from five stars because of all the other comments. Um, it brought it down. I don't know what it brought it down to. But it's just a, a comment of, with no basis. And to, to say he, what he should have said is, my modifications are useless. But they've already been informed that it's, it, it is obviously they are with their detector and it actually opens up a, we'll call it a, uh, a legal issue because it's inferring detector mods, all modifications are useless. It didn't say his. It says um, the modif something or other, the modifications are useless. Very short. How about um, rewrite it? Um, it's written. It's written by. I know who it's written by. You know, man fight sushi. Man, man fight sushi. It's written by. Um, and also, um, silly enough to put um, a picture of their motor vehicle and half their registration plate uh, with their Ford motor car, with the same account details on YouTube. Uh, very interesting. And uh, yeah, so I reserve the right for legal intervention on that because that uh, could be looked at as liable um, and, and basically defamation. And you want to read up uh, the defamation laws in Australia because if I am aggrieved and it's basically you're saying the mods are useless because of another fault that has already been communicated to you because you've been dealing with these other people, I would be very, very careful how I tread. Okay? I was saying that because screenshotted, I've got screenshots of everything. I have the call logs. I have been told and I have agreed to fix all the problems, uh, what there is. It was never my fault in the first place. Okay?
why aren't you taking issue with the mine lab dealer? Right, go and out that. Go on, go and say that mine lab dealer fixed my detector and it failed. Go and say that. Why don't you say that? Okay, but no, you have to get in with a certain group of people, run up there with them, and I don't know the full circumstances, but I know enough about it. And, you know, I do reserve a legal remedy on this. So just be, just be wary of saying things out of context, leaving it there when you know what is the truth. So I hate making videos like this, but it is, it's like seeing something you can't interact with. And it's a complete, one-sided, nasty argument. And like I say, not outing anybody, and I'm not going to, but there's a lot of people who inform me as to what is going on. And yeah, so, you know, keep it all in your little group and uh, we'll see what happens with all the screenshots because it is absolutely assassination. Uh, on no basis whatsoever and all the commentary it just backs it up uh, I, I, I'm absolutely disgusted with what's happened anyway guys like I say all my work I put a five-year warranty on my work five years five years right so if you detect that anything happens to it I fix it we have detectors all over the world being used in all situations and they outperform the standard version by a long shot you know uh, you know do you want someone who does electronic engineering doing your detector or would you rather have someone like a motor mechanic working on your detector um, I don't know choice is yours or people that don't understand how the things work in the first place and uh, I'll, I'll leave it there I'll end up saying too much and I'll, I'll have World War 3 on my hands but uh, you know it's, it's uh, I tried to explain that the best I can I hope I explained it that the modifications are not useless because many 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 people are using the modified detectors and if you do have a modified detector and you think there's some issue, please tell us about it. Don't just sit there and fester and fume when it's just an easy phone call or an email or whatever. And I'll look after you guys. That is, you're after gold. It's important. Some of you guys make a living off it. So that's what we've been doing for, God, years and years and years. And we have these upstarts come in and I don't know what the the interaction and arrangements are in these groups and people, but it's obvious that um, there's there's something going on, in my opinion. Okay? I'll leave it there. That That's 43 minutes of me venting my... But you know what I have to deal with, this sort of stuff. Um, I, I wish I could show you the what other people have sent me, but I can't um, because it, it is in... It wasn't, well, it's it's in what they've, it's sort of third hand. I'm not going to do it. So um, have have faith in that. I'm not going to say anything. But I am, uh, yeah, absolutely gobsmacked that, uh, you know, because of because of a failure and all the, all the good faith I've done into this, that it's all been turned against me. And, uh, yep, um, it's just a walk backwards. Um, but to that person who was going to get the detector done, and uh, you know, obviously they are they are in that group, so they're being poisoned, well and truly. <laughs> yeah, that's it's what happens. It's it's all, um, in my opinion, it's all financial. Um, it's not fair. Uh, it's all one sided. It's toxic, and that's what's going on. So, guys, you know, you've been told that, um, you know, you're in there with Jesus Christ looking after you all. I wish you luck. That's all I'll say.
Um, but yeah, I've I've just blocked the uh, the, oh, the I think it's it could be the guy who started the group, but anyway, whoever there's, there's a few of them there. But uh, it just goes round and round and round. I just looked at it, and you know, it's obvious when they when they deleted everything I put up there. But you know, if if you if you're using the other stuff and it goes up there, that those 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 stay there, right? It's obvious. It's blatant bias. It's biased harder than that bloody MOSFET that blew up. So someone's someone's talking behind my back. It is itchy. Um, <laughs> But like I say, guys, if, if you want mods done, we will do them. Um, we look after you. We give you warranty. Um, and if there's anything that is slightly wrong, I will fix it. It's not a problem. Uh, anyway, maybe what, what I think I have to do now, I've just got, actually I have. I'll turn the camera around, right? I've got these. Um, Oh, I think you can see them there because I'm using front camera. I'm side on. Um, I've got those two I've just done. Um, they're both they're both 4500s. I'm going to go look. It is windy, horrible, and disgusting weather here at the moment, and I'm going to go out and I am going to use these in the gold field and put up another video using these two detectors. Uh, I don't know if I've got a, one that hasn't. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I can compare it with one that uh, has not been modified, and I can do side by side testing. And look, there's targets I left in Canadian forest. I did not dig, um, which I did test with um, another machine. The tiny, tiny, tiny gold. I showed it. These these modified detectors will pick up the tiniest gold, and you can adjust it for the biggest gold. You can do whatever you want. You got variable gain if you want it. You got fixed gain. You got lower front end noise. It gives you a better signal to noise ratio. I mean, you know, it's just uh, the modifications work. They definitely work. I use my detectors. All the gold I've ever got, which is well over uh, one one uh, session, was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of gold. And there's been, I think, other sessions where it's been close on. Look, the video at Beaufort, have a look at that. We out detected everybody with modified detectors. And it was a modified, I can't remember what it was, probably a, a modified GP3500. We went with the whole club. We got the highest nugget tally out of everyone in the club. And it was like a whole, the whole Seekers Club was there. And this was uh, up uh, near Beaufort. Um, Dave's counting the nuggets out on the table. There's, there's thousands of dollars worth of gold. And it's that stuff speaks for itself. I know it's it's an old video, but it's one of the modified detectors we did. It's all there. You just go back, go back and have a look at them all. Maybe you know when I have a week spare, if I ever get time off, this has put me back an hour already, and I'm going to go out and test detectors, which I should be doing people's uh, modifications and repairs. That uh, you know, I'm, I'm just getting further back in the backlog. I've got someone over in Poland wanting their detector back very soon, I'm, and Yes, Dave told me about that. I'm going to get it done. And I've got one on the bench here. Someone wants back before the end of the week, which is uh, under repair as well. And uh, there's there's repairs. I'm waiting on parts for it. There's uh, the fellow with the beach detector. Yes, I'm, I've got that under control. That's a guy from the UK. Um, I've got a lot of things happening. I'm trying to balance everything and uh, trying, to, trying to do the 7,000 module. Um, for that uh, as well, which is a hell of a lot of R&D time. I'm, I'm basically working 18 hours a day and uh, I'm, I'm doing these videos as well just to keep people informed what's going on and you know, even showing them the detectors being worked on. So, um, yeah, it's basically um, what it is. Actually, that failed detector, the, the one that failed I made an issue of, I think it's in one of my videos on the bench working. So it was working. So I didn't get out the door not working. Uh, I'll, I'll just leave it there because um, yeah, otherwise I'll have steam coming out my ears or something. <laughs> I, I'm just gobsmacked. Gobsmacked at, you know, um, 
the the assassination um one sided no no um you know rebuttal you can't do anything and it's you know there's, there's a group of prospectors and they're just getting fed this stuff bang 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 and obviously it spreads and you know it sounds like they're out to destroy my business that's what it sounds like to me try and destroy it control the narrative and you, you, you can't get inroads on it so guys um yeah that's that anyway 50 minutes i've got to get back to work <laughs> i'm terribly sorry but uh that's that catches